Hello, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a creative block logo design in CorelDRAW. This can be handy when you want to create a logo design for architectural drawing or building project. So this is Designs. Do not forget to subscribe. So without waiting any further time, let's get on to it with the F6 function key uh, you pick the rectangle to hold on your control key to make a perfect square then you can actually turn click on the center of any object to rotate it so move this gear hold on your control key that would decide how many inch it moves in so you can see and we have this is 315 and it's centered so you let go so this is what we have then you click on it again to get back the normal box so pull from this node and resize it watch the gear so when it marks on the middle you can let it go so it has just screwed to a particular pattern so you click and drag to duplicate just choose the height of your choice so click and drag to duplicate right click and you have a duplicate copy all right so with the free hand tool let's make a line you can drag to make a line you can do the same or here or you choose to just duplicate the line copy let's click right click to duplicate that okay now so this is our shape now we want to use the virtual segment delete tool that's on the crop tool if you click on this little fly out you can see the drop down to the third two that the virtual segment delete so i don't want this part okay so this is what we want to make now with our on the field tool after the interactive field tool, you have the smart field tool so this smart field tool use it to create this object so i can specify a color for it you can pick from here right click and this is what we have so now we can delete these lines and for this top part i can uh, so let's make use of a gray or yellow okay let's do a yellow okay left click and drag to create a marquee selection select all the objects or if you double click on the pick tool by default it selects all the objects on the page so right click and from the drop down menu you select the group ctrl g if you're on the keyboard if you're on the windows sorry so you select all the objects and group now i want to duplicate this into about seven or eight copies so i just reduce this a bit so what you can do i've always told you to when you move your cursor around the edge of the object you notice when it says node so click hold down your control key click and drag or you can just move while you hold down your control key the reason you hold down your control key is to constrain movement you see if i'm moving left and right is not going so just going straight so i wanted to maintain that so you, you see when it shows you the intersection that's where the both object meet so i i'll left click right click rather to have a duplicate of the object okay so i want it to actually intersect exactly on each other so i can delete that or the node and you see that's perfect that's the edge okay i don't have any space so now i can 
press my Ctrl D to or Ctrl R, Ctrl D to duplicate or Ctrl R to repeat the action I just took, the last action I took. If we zoom out, so we see we have multiple copies. So I'll just delete the ones in between. After the first one, I delete the second one, delete the fourth one, the fifth one. Okay, so this is what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five steps of this. Okay, so I will just select all, control A, that's a shortcut on the keyboard to select all. Select all, or you double click on the pick tool and also I select all. So now from this top one, this is quite simple. So these are brick. So I want to make a halo effect here on the top one so you can just see have the same thing. So I'll ungroup this top one and we're going to make use of the contour two. That's the contour two by default you're actually going to see the shadow effects as the first two so i've always said that the fly out this small arrow every tool you see that has a small arrow a small arrow is called a fly out so when you click on the fly out you can see other tools that are associated with that tool so we have the contour tool so I'll click on the contour tool on the property bar you can see the property bar of the contour to select an object so you can see this is contour too, so you click and drag. You can see the shape it's building. Okay, you can adjust the size. You can increase the number of steps. So this option is actually for the inside. You can choose to make it outside. You can choose to make it to be at the center. All right, so what is the inside you want to specifically use for this task so I reduce the number of the step to one all right so I'll just right click from the uh, menu will break contour apart the shortcut for that is ctrl k so I want this to be separated from this other one so I can pick out the fill the fill color just zoom in so we have a proper view then move my node to the corner bring it down and line okay so now i also want to have a little space here so i just duplicate another one and with a free hand to create a straight line down here just what we did from the beginning the smart field to Feel here, feel, feel this, feel this. So just delete the areas that you don't want anymore. All right, delete this line. So for this last two, I'm going to give it a red color. Why? This is going to be the lemon. So this is what we have. I select this last two and group them apply a little bit of transparency on it so i just change the feel so this is what we have you can see how that turns out you can take out the outlines if you choose to uh, this center part i can make it um, a white color or a lighter shade of yellow I think white would work better okay so this is what we have just right click take up the outline so this is our creative block I can choose to as well change these colors I just have a different feel okay so 
so this is what we have if you're new to this channel you'll find this tutorial educate it consider subscribing to our channel give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like and share so that others can benefit from this tutorial if you have any question or something you don't understand in course of the tutorial do not hesitate to drop a comment in the section below and i'll be right there to answer your questions so thank you very much for watching see you in my next video bye for now